When it comes to music, people like us want to have it everywhere. The beach, climbing, hiking, basically a lot of places that don't have electricity. So in this video, we're going to be showing you a pretty cool little speaker that technically never needs to be plugged in. The Dreamix Solar Charging Bluetooth Speaker. Let's go ahead and check this thing out, shall we? At first glance, the speaker looks pretty solid. It has a one-piece rubber housing, which can't be removed. A little irksome, but hey, it's protection, right? Nothing wrong with that. It has nice flush buttons, a flashlight, and is shock, dust, and splash proof. I mean, hell, I even brought this thing up to the Smoky Mountains, and it did great on our hiking trip. But it was really cool just charging by the sun. What the heck, right? A speaker with a solar panel, something way different, and it works really well, and is surprisingly responsive. The second you shine a light on this thing, it instantly starts charging. Here's a quick example of how responsive the solar panel is. We're gonna pay attention to this little indicator light right here. There's a LED light that tells you when this thing senses a charge. So let's go ahead and cover it with our hand so we make sure that the LED is not lit. Turn it over here. Zoom in for you guys. You can see it's not lit. We're a little bit overcast today and this is gonna be a great example that it can still be cloudy and charge your shit. So let me get my hand off. Move my hand, instantly starts charging. Put it back, take it off, put it back, take it off. So it has a really good sensor of when there is light and when there is not. And even though it may take a little bit longer than being plugged into the wall, it's really convenient for those times that you can't. But it's not like it dies all the time anyway, so the battery itself lasts pretty long, up to 30 hours. And every uh, 10 minutes that you charge it, you can listen into it for another 30 minutes. So technically, the solar panel isn't all that bad. And if you did like me and just let it hang from your backpack by this strap, it can just charge by itself all day long while you're listening to jams anyways. But when it actually comes to listening to this bad boy, the speaker falls a little bit short. I mean, don't get me wrong, it has the volume, it gets decently loud, but uh, the balance, whew, it's just missing something. Almost as if it's focused more on the higher end instead of a nice balance. And I'm not saying that's easy, but it's almost as if they just chucked a random high pass filter in there at like 200 hertz and called it a day. I mean, it just sounds a little bit tinny in my opinion, but it does get the job done since it is a feature pack stuff. I'll go ahead and fire it up right now and just let you hear it for yourself. You hear what I mean, how it's kind of, it feels like it's missing something as far as balancing it goes. Like it has a lot of that high uh, end stuff going on. So I'm gonna turn it back on. And over here I have sitting another Bluetooth speaker that we've already done a review on. And I'm gonna switch it back and forth just so you can hear uh, a comparison because on video, it's gonna be hard to hear the tonality. So let's turn it back up and I'll do a little swip and swap for you guys. This one's got bass. And it's loud as hell. But this one's just lacking the bass. a little 
little bit of distortion on the housing right there. Only on certain frequencies. So that's pretty much what I've been dealing with so far. I mean, it makes noise, it gets loud, and it, uh, you know, you can play your music, but uh, it just doesn't have a very good balance. So at the end of the day, it's definitely not a speaker that's gonna be sounding the best that you've ever heard, but do the features that it does have make up for it, like a solar panel and having this strap and this flashlight. I guess that's gonna be up to you if you're constantly outside backpacking and need the dust proof, splash proof, and the ratings and protection that it has. Sure, you could make up for a little bit of lack of sound quality since it's gonna be behind you and echoing all in the forest. I mean, sure, it's not gonna be a audiophile grade unit. But if you're looking for something in your house, a boom box for at your house that just happens to have a nice charging ability with a solar panel, the sound just isn't up to snuff. That's just my opinion though. I'm EXO and I'm really picky about my stuff and it's only a $30 unit, so I'm not gonna like expect it to give me the bee's knees, you know what I mean? And I wouldn't expect you guys to think that either. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it could shed a, a light on this quick little unit here from Dreamix. If you like it, check it out in the description. Many more videos like this to come. I'm getting great feedback from all the subscribers, so make sure you subscribe yourself. All right, until the next video, this is EXO signing out with my Dreamix. Ha! Ha!